The child star on one of the most iconic television shows in history. Well, now Butch Patrick, known to millions as Little Eddie Munster, is spending the weekend in commerce for a high octane event at Atlanta Dragway. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken sat down with the actor to find out a little bit more. Well, the event is called Gear Jam. It's kind of a 1960s themed drag racing event. And when you think about the 1960s, there are a few pop culture touchstones that always come to mind. So one of them, maybe the Beatles. Think about music like Motown, the Supremes, and then classic television. And when it comes to classic television, the all-time best, if you ask me, is the Munsters. And that's where this guy comes in, Butch Patrick. It's great to see you. How are you? Thank you. I'm great. Welcome back to Georgia. You come here every once in a while, right? Oh, absolutely. Atlanta's one of my favorite places. I actually lived in Conyers in 96, 97, and 98 no kidding. during the Olympics. So, yeah, I've been coming back ever since. Nice. Well, welcome back. Glad to have you. So let's talk about this event this weekend first. So Saturday, Sunday, it's a gear jam. Mm -hmm. And you're a car guy, so this you're right at home, right? With Absolutely, this? yeah. I was lucky enough to purchase a Munster Coach and Dragula tribute vehicle, a pair of them, <laughs> about three years ago. And we love doing drag racing you know, situations. I grew up at the drag strip when I was a kid, so this is like old home week for me. That's cool. And you know what we were just talking about? It's funny that there seems to be this interesting crossover between fans of classic 60s television like the Munsters and people who are really into cars and drag racing. Do you find that too? Well, absolutely. Uh, you know, the muscle car, you know, in the, in the early 60s, the mid-60s, muscle cars just started. Yeah. And the uh, the Munsters was lucky enough to have the first George Barris creations on television as like family cars. And we like to wow. call a Munster coach the original minivan. You know, I you love see that. see a bunch of people. So I grew up going down to Georgia's shop and uh, really getting, getting comfortable around hot rods back in the early 60s and then in the late 60s I started going to the drag strip so I've been around cars all my life. No kidding. All right, so I was just asking you. Let's let's go back for a minute. So you were how old when the Munsters started? I started right before I, we filmed the first episode I was 10. By the time it aired I was 11. And okay, but interestingly and I I didn't know this before today. You you were not the first first Eddie Munster. So how did you end up on the show? Cuz there, there was a pilot with somebody else, right? Yeah, the original pilot had uh, a kid named Happy Derman and and they also had another woman uh, playing a character called Phoebe, and her name was Joan Marshall. The last minute they looked at it and they thought Happy wasn't, he was playing it a little aggressive, so they brought in another kid, which my agent got me to, they got them to fly me in from yeah. Illinois. And me and Yvonne DiCarlo tested and they were hired, we were hired on the spot. My dad loved the Munsters. Mm -hmm. He raised me on the Munsters. Now my niece, is, so I mean, it's at least three generations. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is about that show and some of the other classics you were on that, that just seem to always work? Well, people remember the 60s for a lot of reasons. The television uh, way was it was an innocent time. It was very much family values. Yeah. We were on at 6:30 in the Midwest and 7:30 in the East and Pacific, which was dinner hour. So this yeah. was like the, the main entertainment after you're having dinner or before you're having dinner. Uh, so people just remember fondly. And like when we put out our, we put out a table a monster merchandise. Yeah. So many people bring out their collections to have them autographed. Oh, they want to yeah. buy some stuff for someone they know that's a fan. Yeah. They couldn't make it out. So that's half the fun is seeing kids that are introduced to it for the first time and a third generation is now enjoying it with, <laughs> with their great grandparents. Is it true? Did you really say it's the most merchandise show ever? As I understand it, yeah. Star, wow. Wars, Star Wars for movies and yeah. the Monsters for television. Do you do you save all that stuff or no? I didn't. Uh, I'm starting to reacquire it, but yeah. no, I didn't. Yeah. I, I gave gotta, it away. I, I, gave it away. I, I gotta get a good action figure, a good Eddie Munz. I know they're out there, yeah. the action figures. We just we just created the first Woof Woof Bobblehead. Oh, I love that. <laughs> all right, get me one. Okay. All right. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. Great my, to see you. Pleasure. Good luck this weekend. Go see Butch Patrick this weekend at Atlanta Dragway in Commerce. Thanks, Paul. Gear Jam is taking place today and tomorrow, tomorrow at Atlanta Dragway in Commerce, as we mentioned. Gates open at 8 this morning. General admission, $10 per day. Kids 12 and under, free.